Welcome to the Can-Am Crew YouTube channel. In this epic adventure, we're hitting the road for 40 days and traveling for over 7,000 miles to ride some of the most amazing trail systems the U.S. has to offer. From Alabama to Utah to South Dakota and many, many more, we're going to be in over 20 states to ride some of the most scenic, wild trails that we can find. It's not all going to be about riding, though. We'll stop along the way at places like the Cadillac Ranch, the Grand Canyon, Hoover Dam, the Devil's Tower, and Mount Rushmore. This is going to be the adventure of a lifetime, and we're extremely excited to share it with you on our YouTube videos. So do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you out on the trail. Hello and uh, good morning or good afternoon, depending on when this comes out. We are on our way over to get passes to ride for the day. Uh, they said that you have to buy the pass each and every day that you ride. So that's where we're headed. If you're just tuning in, you're not, uh, if you haven't been following along and you're new to the channel, it's uh, myself and a 2019 X3, um, Halo 30, CT Race Works, High Cleaners Trailing Arms, so basically the works. Then you got my wife Sherry in a 2023 X3, basically the same build as mine. You got Scott in a 2020 RR 195 horsepower with 35 inch Zillas. And a, uh, he's, he's running our diff and upgraded axle. And we have our friends Tim and Amy in a 64 inch 23 XDS. And I'll show you them now. It's kind of dusty though. everyone refers to this as a little moab looks cool just kind of looks like a little playground all oh, right there little moab if you can see that on camera that sign up there it's fairly vertical i think the i think the tires will eat it up Let's see if i can get scott to go this looks like a fun line here it all looks fun Want to hit one? Yeah, I'll start out small. Okay. See if you can spin without bouncing, see if it'll just pull you up over. It started to bounce. It's steep. <laughs> that is that's insane. I mean, it's just literally crawled at. I don't know of any many other tires that can even come close to doing that. That's wild. She 
you just pulled on it started spinning a little bit and it just pulled it right up not much room here to get maneuvered Let's see what the uh, 72 inch with 35s will do if it acts any different wanted to go it, it yeah it was it wanted it Oh, look at you go. You did it. you need much all right Tim said he wants to give this first one here that we Sherry did I think I did I think we all did actually Sherry was the first one up this she made it look really really easy I had a little bit of wheel hop Scott had a little bit of wheel hop Stock smart lock, stock axles. That way a little bit. Yeah, yeah, maybe a foot or two this way. Once you get that like first initial bump, you could, you know, just ease into it. It should go up. Don't let out, it'll go. It's hard. Give it a little bit more at the bottom, just a tiny bit more. You'll crawl it. 
forward. Oh my God, he ripped his door off. Did it fold backwards? Yeah. Oh man. That's his. Yeah, he got the door. That's his second door, isn't it? <laughs> oh, poor Tim. Hey, you made it. Door survived. Hit latches. Just uh, just a little tree rash. Huh? All right. Finally, we found Chuck Norris. Supposed to be a really good one. Uh, this is what we were most excited about to come here. You see a lot of videos and talk about Chuck Norris, so that's what we want to go try. It is off of 407. It's like between 407 and 408A, kind of, sorta. So that's what we're gonna do now. We'll take you up, Chuck Norris. So we got to the top of Chuck Norris. I will just say that it is one of the rougher trails that I've been to. But Sherry thinks she has a line. That climb up out of here, I feel like might possibly be the hardest. I can't really tell right here, but it's vertical and taller than I am. I think she can navigate any everything else. I think she can get through or around the rocks or over the rocks, but that one's very very off camber and very steep so that'll be tricky i'm gonna switch over to scott's camera he's down at the bottom filming sherry come up and then i'll grab her from the middle So far, so good. Looks good, Sherry. Nice driving. Nice driving. Nice job. Now this is this is the spot that I was worried about. Hey, Sherry. Hold on. Let me get some cameras in position. All right, Sherry. right wow she pretty much just crawled Chuck Norris wow. <laughs> at a girl at, you were today for sure. she's on a whole nother level this trip 
Good job, Sherry. Okay, Scott's up. I hear him starting up. He's gonna come up here. I got Sherry down here, which I tell you what, that's gonna be uh it's gonna be a hard one to follow. She come up there pretty easily, so she spun a few times. For the most part, she just pretty much crawled it. Yeah. So good, good driving spot. Try to crawl it, Scott. You're good. That's close, but you only need to go by another foot. Maybe back up in a little bit of momentum. I think that's enough there. I'd go back a little bit more. Okay, looks good. still spinning. I don't know how. Holy cow. Did you guys just see the hit that his front right took? My goodness. It sounded like a broken axle, but they're still spinning. All right, here comes Jesse up Chuck Norris. Nice job, Jesse. All right, here comes Tim. Another 64-inch machine. It seems like the 64 32s 
are handling this trail fairly well. We're trying to decide if uh, trying to decide if the 35s or the width or the suspension. We're just have to change a few things out for Scott and see what works. He did the straddle technique. Yeah, I was worried. Works. I was worried if I straddled it, I'd I fall in. I had a hard time there. <laughs> we'll figure it out. We're gonna either do some tire swapping and testing or suspension tuning. I know a uh, few of you have mentioned suspension tuning before. We've messed with it a little bit, but it just it's so bouncy. We're just gonna stiffen it up. We'll see, see what happens. Yeah. yeah, stiffen it up, see what happens. If that and doesn't help, we'll then we'll there. put some 32s on it, see if that cures it, and change one thing at a time. That way we know what yes, does it. Absolutely. But the axles and diff took a hard hit. That was that was rough. <laughs> and our diff did it. Yeah. More of that to come later. Here's another one that we wanted to find. That's called Carson's Corner. And it is at the end of 406B. This one's a hard one to find. It's uh, it's almost near vertical too. Here, Coop, stand there. Cooper's six foot. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. A little ledgy. What do you think, Coop? Should we give it a go? Okay. All right, guys. We're on Carson's corner. Um. Jesse's going first. This is the uh, the big climb up out of it. Did you do a reference with this? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Yeah, Cooper stand up there. Okay, cool. Jesse's going first, so let's let's see what happens, guys.
I know. Nice throttle control. Very well done, buddy. And Jesse made that obstacle look fairly easy. And let me tell you, I don't think it's as easy as he made it look. Good job, buddy. All right, I just went up that. It felt pretty good. I, uh, I bellied when I was filling it out, but when I hit it, I don't think I bellied, but Sherry said that she wants to give this one a go. This one's pretty nasty too. is a little driver. Alright. Now, yeah, straighten up. That looks pretty good. Actually looks like a good line. Good job, Sherry. Easy does her. I might have caught that slip on camera. Alright, here we go. Scott's up. Carson's corner. Really cool, really cool obstacle. That line with a little bit, a little bit of momentum looked good. His front tires are four feet in the air. Hey, good, good throttle control on that. You didn't land on throttle. Okay, Tim's up. He's gonna see what he can make happen here on this obstacle. Good, Tim. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Bellied out a little bit, but not too bad. All right. How are you getting up nice. here? Nice. I'm gonna climb. Climb this thing. Nah, I got this. I got this. Watch. All right, course and corner, checked off the list. All right, we uh, went back for lunch a little bit ago, come back out. Yeah, we're getting ready to hit Yeti Bottoms. It's labeled red on the map. It's supposed to be a pretty good one. Um, I heard that it was closed. Not really sure, so we're gonna go check it out. Right here is the start of it. Looks like a pretty steep descent and maybe a creek bed or something down there. This is a trail coming up next, but I'm gonna make you wait until the next video for this one. So definitely tune in a few days. You'll see Yeti Bottoms. 
Huge thanks to our channel members, our sponsors, our patrons. All you guys are awesome. Thank you for watching this video. Day 11 of our 40-day trip continued in the next video. We'll see you there.